Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview for new Pythagorean users, how you can get your account created, or how you can log in and get set up and running with Pythagora. So first thing you need to do, you can either go directly to the VS Code extension listing for Pythagora in the marketplace. And if you don't have that link, I'll put it directly down below in the video description. Or inside of VS Code, you can click on over on the left hand side, there's an extension icon. You can click on that and then just search for Pythagora and that'll pull up the extension, which you can click on and there'll be a button that says install and that'll directly install the extension. Either option is good. Once the extension is installed, you'll see this icon for Pythagora over on the left hand side of VS Code. All you have to do is click on that and that'll load this Pythagora form over on the right hand side. This form will prompt you to create an account if you don't have an account yet which you can add your name an email address and your password if you do that you can click this create your pythagora account button and that'll get your account created or you can also use google authentication which all you have to do is click on this continue with google icon and then that'll authenticate you to your google account that you're signed in directly there in your browser once you're signed in either through email or via Google authentication, you'll see the settings page and that shows how you can configure Pythagora. If you don't see this settings page, you'll see this page and then you can either click on this gear icon or you can click set up GPT pilot or set up Pythagora and then that'll pull up the settings page if you don't see it. On the settings page, you can see up here at the top, It'll have the current version number of the Pythagora extension and of GPT pilot that you have installed on your machine. Next, it'll show you're out of credit. If your account doesn't have any prepaid money in your Pythagora account to use Pythagora pro or in the same location, if you're using an API key from your preferred LLM provider, it'll have that information there. So if you're a brand new user, it should just say that you're out of credit. And then you'll need to either subscribe to one of our plans or use your own API key. So if you're curious how to do all that, how to first get started with Pythagora Pro, which is what we recommend for most users, just click this button that says subscribe to Pythagora. And then that'll send you an email to the email account that you just signed up with for your account. And in that email, there'll be some different information and a link on how you can add some money and you can start off as, as small as $10 USD to get your account set up for Pythagora Pro. Or if you wanna use your own LLM provider such as an OpenAI or an Anthropic, instead of clicking the subscribe to Pythagora button down below, what you can do is you can click on this link and that'll pull up an article with the detailed instructions on how you can go that route. Next, what you want to do is you'll see where it says GPT pilot path and there'll be a link. What you'll do is you can click this change button and what that does is that'll pull up um, the directory picker and you can select the directory where Pythagora and then all of the files for Pythagora, um, all of everything that's going to the L stored for the LLM, as well as all the application files for any applications that you're building. This is basically what you're, which directory you're selecting there. So if you select a directory called code or projects or Pythagora or whatever you want to call it, that's where um, everything's going to be stored. Once you do that, once you get everything set up, you should see that it's installing all the files for that. So in, inside of the directory you chose, there should be a new directory, a subdirectory of that parent directory called GPT pilot. And then all of the additional files and folders are inside of there. And that's pretty much it. And if you're a Pythagora pro user, if you're doing the prepaid option and paying up front for Pythagora's usage, you don't need to configure anything else. Once you add some money to your account, you can pretty much just start coding and start building an application from there. Now, once you do that, once you get some money added to account for Pythagora Pro users, you will see here that the details of your plan and how much credit you have remaining and how many tokens you've used. If you don't see that right away, you might need to restart VS Code before the settings page updates. Now, if you're using Pythagora 
as um, an open source user using your uh, using an API key from your own LLM provider. You'll see that information here once you follow through the steps in this article below. Then restart VS Code and that will update here. Instead of saying you're, that you're out of credit, it'll say that you're using an API key from OpenAI, from Anthropic, or whichever provider you're using. I hope that helps. I've also got all of this content that's in this video in an article form in the Pythagora Wiki, which I'll also link down below in the description. If you have any questions, if you get stuck with the setup process, if you get stuck setting up your account, if you come across any bugs, if you have any feedback for us, or if you simply have any other questions, feel free to hop over in our Discord server and you can interact with us or interact with the community as well. So we read all your feedback, we read all your comments, our dev team sees all of the feature requests, all the bug reports, and please share that with us. And so it helps make your, your time and your usage with Pythagora a lot better. Anyway, if you have any questions as well, like I said, send them to the Discord. You can also leave them below in a comment on the YouTube video and we can respond from there. Anyway, thanks for watching and happy coding.